So here we have entry test MCQs which is relevant to these entrance examinations. That in the experiment of simple pendulum, error in length of a pendulum is 5% and that of gravity is 3%. Then find the percentage error in measurement of periodic time of the pendulum. So as we know that the time period of the pendulum is given by t is equal to 2 pi under root L by G. And this is the relation which is connecting the time period, length and gravity. Here is a hint that we know that under root is equal to raised to power half. So the percentage error in time period is equal to the percentage error in length multiplied by half. In this case, the power on L and G is equal to half plus the percentage error in G multiplied by its power is from the MCQs the percentage error in length is equal to 5% and the percentage error in gravity is equal to 3%. So it will be equal to 2.5% plus 1.5% which is equal to 4% is the right answer. So here we have our entry test MCQ is relevant to these entrance examinations. If A is equal to this where the percentage error in X, Y, Z are 2, 3, 5 respectively the total percentage error in the measurement of A is. So we can write this general equation as the percentage error in A is equal to the percentage error in X multiplied by having raised to power 2 as we know that for power factor the uncertainty is multiplied by power. So multiply by 2 as we know that if we divide the physical quantities or multiply the physical quantities the uncertainty or the percentage error in them will be add up in both the cases plus the percentage error in y plus the percentage error in z multiply by 3 from the data the percentage error in x is 2 so 2 percent multiplied by 2 the percentage error in y is 3 percent and the percentage error in z is 5 percent on solving them we left with 22 percent so option d is correct as none of these here we have a simple MCQs which is relevant to these entrance examinations. The length of a rod is equal to 9 plus minus 0 0.03 meters. What is the length of two such rods? So in this case we have a hint that length of two rods is equal to 2L. In this case, we have L is equal to 9 plus minus 0 0.03. So multiplying it with 2, we left with 18 plus minus 0 0.06 meter. So C is the right answer. So here we have an entry test MCQs which is relevant for these entrance examinations. The resistance of a wire is given by a relation R is equal to rho L divided by pi R square. The percentage error in the measurement of rho L and R is 1%, 2% and 3% respectively. Then the percentage error in the measurement R will be. Before solving this question, let me show you another hint and trick. Here we have some key points that if 
irrespective of addition, subtraction, division and multiplication, we always add the errors and uncertainties in them. So in this case, the row L are in multiplication and R square is in division. And we can get the uncertainty in R by simply adding the error in them. For example, the error in row is 1% plus, here we have multiplication, but their error or uncertainty will be added. The error in length is 2% plus, the error in R is 3%. 3% Percent. And here we have a square in a power. So according to the key hint for power factor, the uncertainty is multiplied by power. So 3 multiply with this 2. So we simply add them all and the final result will be 9%. So here we have an entry test MCQs favorite of Eta, Ecat, MDcat, the volume of sphere is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. If error in measurement of radius of sphere is 2%, what will be the error in measurement of volume? Here in this case, there is an error in radius and radius is raised to power 3. So we will use this hint here to solve this entry test MCQs. That for power factor, the uncertainty is multiplied by power. So as given, error in radius is equal to 2% and the total percentage error in volume is equal to 2 multiplied by with this power 3 which is equal to 6%. So the error in measurement of volume will be 6%. So here we have a simple MCQs relevant to these entry tests. The percentage error in measurement of mass and speed is 2 and 3% respectively. The error in kinetic energy obtained by measuring mass and speed will be so first we will write a relationship between the kinetic energy, mass and speed, which we know that kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. Here the percentage error in mass is 2% plus the percentage error in speed is 3% multiply by this power 2. So the percentage error in kinetic energy will be equal to 8 percent. 